is Wednesday and I am currently in town. I've just arrived and parked up and I'm going to get my lashes done. I'm currently underneath the car park and you get like one bar of signal in here. So I'm trying to do my parking and it's very, very slow. But yes, I'm starting the vlog a little bit later than usual today just because I have literally been so productive this week and sometimes when i'm vlogging i feel like it distracts my productivity a little bit because i start thinking oh i'll film this for the vlog and i'll film this for the vlog and sometimes i just need to brack on with filming and getting stuff done and that is what i've done this week it's been so productive on monday i was at my mum's facial studio helping her film some stuff for socials and getting loads of content done which was amazing because it meant that i got to have a facial and i don't know if you can see i mean i've only got concealer on and my rose ink skin tint right now but my skin is literally glowing i don't think my skin has ever looked this good i'm not even joking so yeah that was amazing and then yesterday i just had a really productive day at home i had a call with my manager and i just got loads of bits and bobs done which was very productive this morning i have been filming i woke up at 6 a.m this morning with no alarm naturally wide awake i had so much energy and i don't know why i don't know if my simprove has finally been kicking in and i'm waking up energized it's so weird and i looked out the window and it was snowing and there was so much snow on the ground and i literally couldn't believe it so um yeah that was a shock this morning through the course of the day it has been raining non-stop and there is now literally no snow on the ground thank god because i'm going to london tomorrow and i'm not coming back till friday night and i was thinking i don't want this to ruin my plans i am just gonna have a humbug i keep these in my car does anyone else love these mints the humbug mints they're like the brown stripy ones they remind me of my granddad so much i remember me and my brother used to go to his house and he used to have a stash of these and then like loads of like grandparent sweets like those big jelly horrible ones i don't know what they were yeah and i always used to have these I will catch up with you once I am back home and my appointments all done. Okay, and I am back home. Nails done. They look absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe these are my real nails. Um, these two are still growing. I know I said in the vlog a while ago that I broke these two when I was cleaning. So they're not super long, but they're getting there. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. I get like an oval, kind of like a almond oval shape. I get Biab number 17, I think, which is the gel bottle. And my lashes are also done. These are my natural lashes. Um, I've just had a lash lift and tint as well. So they are a little bit dark around my waterline, as you can see. Sorry for the super close up <laughs> video. But um, yeah, they look incredible. I can't believe it. Um, so if you're wondering, I go to Bow Boutique in Tenterden to get my nails done and I get my lashes done at number nine. I've been going to number nine since I first moved. There's nothing better than a nice beauty day. It just makes you feel so much better. And these are kind of the treatments that I get now. I don't really get my hair done and I am really thinking about getting my extensions taken out because I've only got a few in each side and... I just kind of think like what's the point in me having them it's only for thickness at the front and i just think if i get them out i can really focus on the health of my hair i can do way more oils because i really kind of avoid oiling the top just in case the extensions slip um so yeah i am contemplating doing that i think when i next go i might get them out and see how it is i can always get them put back in if i change my mind I've also just had a gorgeous delivery from Necessaire, which you guys know I'm obsessed with Necessaire. And um, they have launched a new hair care range, which is now in Space NK as of the 3rd of March. So I'm going to link these below because, oh my goodness, they are stunning. Uh, Monty PR have sent me the shampoo and conditioner and also the scalp serum, which literally sounds incredible. You guys know I'm obsessed with hair care and like finding amazing hair care products is literally one of my favorite things. I think it's because I love skincare, but when I find skincare that works for me, I don't like to steer away from it or try loads because I don't want to make my skin break out and I like to stick with what I know. 
Um, although I have been trialing some new products recently, which I've really been loving. So I'll update you on that um, another time. But the shampoo and conditioner look absolutely beautiful. Imagine these in your shower. How stunning. Absolutely love them. And the scalp serum. Oh, I mean, if you're on the hunt for some bougie products and you really want to treat yourself go to space nk and have a look at the necessaire range it is just so stunning i'm a sucker for packaging and look at that bottle i really want to use this it's, it's a restorative treatment biomimetic peptide treatment for the scalp and hair apply daily all their products are fragrance free i think they've got one eucalyptus scented body wash but yeah, they're all fragrance free. They're all made with like non-comedogenic, dermatologist tested, um, hypoallergenic formulas. So they're really, really good for you. As I've been saying with all my new kind of like home products, I just want to save them all for the new house. And I know that's so silly, but we're moving in a few months and I just, I want to save them all so that when we move house, I'm like, oh, I've got all these new bits. <laughs> Anyway, I need to crack on with some tidying up because I'm not going to be home until Friday night and then it's the weekend. I want the apartment to be all nice and tidy um, before I go tomorrow. So I'm going to give it a quick tidy up. I've got tons of clothes to put away in the bedroom, probably pop on a podcast or something and then I'm going to sit down and make some nice dinner. And just like that, one hour later, the bedroom is back to normal. If you had seen this, bedroom an hour ago honestly it was a state that were closed everywhere this brings me so much joy i love kind of going, doing like a bit of a turn down service um, for myself i love making the bed all nice and like putting the lamps on making it smell lovely it's literally my favorite thing in the world good morning everyone i am currently just getting ready it is the most miserable day outside i can't even tell you is horrible we are forecast rain here in the uk for literally the next two three weeks and it makes me so sad i'm really hoping it's not going to rain when we go to paris but i am heading into london today for a very lovely girls day me and nadia have had this booked in our calendars for quite a while now um and it's just going to be so lovely I am not going to let the rain dampen my spirits for a gorgeous girls day. I've just been packing my bag and my tips for if you're going on an overnight stay and you don't want to take a lot of stuff, for example, I'm going to have to carry this around with me all day today and all day tomorrow. Um, if I was staying in a hotel, I just leave my luggage there and then go and collect it before I go home. But I'm not staying at a hotel, I'm staying at a hotel Nadia. So I will be taking my things with me tomorrow. So the bag that I'm using is my long shop. My mum actually got me this for Christmas a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it. It was so funny because she kept saying she really wanted one of these. So I got her one for Christmas and she got me one and I had no idea, but it's such a brilliant size. You can honestly fit so much in here. And because these shoulder straps are really long, it fits on your arm really, really well. and it just doesn't get in the way because my Louis Vuitton luggage bag, it's um, the straps are more like a arm strap so you can't really put it on your shoulder. So yeah, this is my bag and literally all I'm bringing is a different top to wear tomorrow. I'm gonna wear the same trousers and the same coat and I've got some underwear, some cashmere socks to put on later, my hair clip for my hair, which I always clip my hair up when I get home, dry shampoo for tomorrow, my hairbrush, and then I will bring my wash bag. I am going to bring, just for ease, and because I don't want to bring loads of products with me, because it's literally just one night, I am going to bring this um, Louis Vuitton wash bag instead of my vanity case. Um, just because I can fit quite a lot in here and it's not super bulky. And the beauty of staying at Nadia's or staying at a girlfriend's house is that I can borrow Nadia's pyjamas, Nadia's joggers, toothpaste, face cloth. So yeah. <laughs> It's so funny because every time I stay at Nadia's, I literally barely bring anything and I get there and I'm like, oh, by the way, can I have this, 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 this? Have you got a pair of slippers? <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. Right. I am just getting myself dressed. I've just changed out my earrings, actually. I always wear Astrid and Miu and I've just switched them out and I've got these rope hoops and my sparkly necklace on. 
um this top is from under the stories trousers are really old caramelin and i love these they're so comfortable celine belt and my jacket is mango and i just absolutely love this jacket so much i'm actually going to button it up at the top and then leave the the bottom undone so it kind of goes like that um i also need to take my probiotics these are from seed i've been taking these for quite a while now and i absolutely love them they're really good they really help with my tummy um i've also just been lint rolling my coat because my coat has got so much fluff on it and like bits and bobs but i'm gonna wear this coat because it's really easy and i can wear it tomorrow and it looks quite smart and i don't know whether to bring a scarf i don't think it's gonna be that cold i think it's gonna be wet so i might not bring a scarf um but yeah my outfit of the day okay back at the station again and i also feel like i've been speaking to you in the car so much recently <laughs> but i'm at the station i've just popped to the post office quickly on the way here and i got here in such good time the roads were quiet i thought i would just show you my lash lift so i've got mascara on now i have actually curled my lashes still just because i feel like it makes the mascara stay up um but they are just incredible i will chat to you when i'm in london And we are now in Zara. Oh, I'm not in focus. We are literally look how pretty this Zara is. Hi. <laughs> we are just looking at the underwear section. It is stunning. So nice. We're gonna have a little mooch in here. I really want to get some jeans, so I'm gonna try and pick. I want to get some jeans. Okay. Like some straight leg. Oh yeah, like the ones we had on the other day. Yeah, but grey. So let's see what we can find. Okay, we've finished up in Zara. We are gonna go into Soho home and have a look. I feel like, um, oh, hello. <laughs> we've got our umbrellas out. I feel like I'm gonna get some inspo for the house in here. Let's go. Okay, we have left Soho house. That was the last place I vlogged. We've actually been at this little, do you know what this is called? No. It's just a little pub on Chelsea Potter. Chelsea and uh, we've been here for two drinks. Well, one drink, we're just on our second drink. <laughs> um, and we're just having a nice catch up. I was saying to my vlog how I haven't seen you properly this year. Yeah. We did a yoga class together this year for an event. Yeah, the puppy yoga. And then we had lunch, but that was like two and a half an hour lunch. So we haven't actually yeah. had that. That was literally like, let's eat and go. Yeah. So this is our proper catch up. So yeah, having a chin wag. And we're all no alcohol when we brought Yeah, we did. Yeah, like, yeah, but it's okay. okay. It's a oh, celebration. You were saying we're like adult drinking now. Like we're kind of like adults and we're sensible. sensible. We are. To be fair, we yeah, actually yeah. really are. Cheers. <laughs> So we used to take it, we used to only see each other like every few months and then we'd like have like this blow up. Yeah. Whereas now I feel like we see each other way more and more sensible. Yeah, we, we yeah we are. And we actually go to bed like early, early. wake up fresh and like, yeah, we're so much better. Yeah. So much better. We grew up guys. We did, we did. <laughs> we're ready for the mum life. Yeah, we are just sexy. Oh, literally. He's so cute. <laughs> Future dog. <laughs> okay, I'm back at Nadia and Johnny's. We've been here for probably like an hour or so, just having a drink, having a chat. I'm with Biggs. He's got his ball. Biggs. <laughs> Good boy. You wanna play? Funny. I really want a dog. Every time I come here, it literally makes me want a dog so much. Also, we saw a Dalmatian earlier. I did video it. I want a Dalmatian so bad. Um, right, where is... You wanna play? Ready? Go. <laughs> Nadia, she's gone for a wee. Um... I need to find the bowls. Where are the bowls? Nods, where are your bowls? Um, 
left hand middle drawer. Not sit like that. I don't know you could, but it's actually a thing that people can't do it. No, how I sorry. I comfortably sit like that. Can they see? Like on my. No, I've always, always sat like this to do everything. But I have to be on my tiptoes to sit like that. Put your feet closer together. You can't put your feet flat. No. If I put my feet flat. Um... Ooh. That is so weird. What the hell? No, I did it. I used to just naturally do it. And someone, it was like at school, someone was like, how are you doing that? And I was like, how is that weird? That is crazy. It's a thing. That's how I What? Yeah. That's like a baby. That's how I know. Is. I'm like, I'm just comfortably, like if I was, <laughs> <laughs> if I was just comfortably, I don't know. Can you hear my, my yeah. lips clicking? Yeah, joints clicking. Hey. That is not comfortable. No, it's um... See, I don't understand how you don't like Pilates because that's good flexibility. Good morning, everyone. I haven't vlogged yet, but I am now with my mom and we are on our way to Shoreditch House because I have got some pedicures booked in with cow shed, which I did mention in my last vlog, so you might remember. Um, so yeah, that is where we are heading this morning. We just stopped off at Gales in Spitalfield Market for a quick coffee and yeah, we are just on our way there. I'm very excited for a relaxing cow shed um, morning. But I also haven't seen the um, Cowshed Spa before, so I'm very excited to see that. So I'll let you know how we get on. And also, I don't know what colour to get on my toes. It's a gel pedicure, so I'm hoping to get something similar to what I've got on my... Oh god, it's so dark. <laughs> Look, my screen's pitch black. <laughs> I'm hoping to get something similar that is on my nails, so we will see. Um, but yes, I will update you. We're just going through like the back streets of Shoreditch. Um, I feel like this is very not our vibe, but <laughs> it's just something different for a Friday. Okay, I haven't vlogged for a while. I think the last thing I vlogged was when we were getting our pedicures, but we are now in Carnaby Street and we are just going to the Astrid and Muse store to get matching welded bracelets, which is so cute. I've already got one on and I also have a welded ring, so I am gonna get another one to do like a little double layering and um, show you what we go for. everyone it's saturday today i am just doing my makeup i have had such a lovely saturday so far i literally had the best sleep last night we got in bed at half eight and i fell asleep before nine o'clock and woke up at just before six literally did not move all night you know those kind of sleeps you have where you fall asleep in one position and wake up in the same one Oh, it was a dream. So I'm feeling very refreshed today. It was exactly what I needed. I had a lovely shower this morning, washed my hair. I've styled it again with the Panasonic straighteners, which I'm loving. Just creates this really like undone wave that I really like. It kind of still has the volume at the top and around my face, but I just really, really like it. So I'm really enjoying using the straighteners. Jack has gone off to work today. I don't know how long he's there for, but 
I'm taking it upon myself to get all the bits done that I didn't manage to get done in the week. So because I was in London Thursday and Friday, um, so I've just been finishing off some work this morning and just doing a little bit of admin and like bits and bobs around the house. I've actually just been sat on the sofa working on some edits for my Like to Know It page. And this was something that I put on Instagram to ask if you guys wanted to see that. I used to actually have a blog, you may not know, um, if you are new. If you have followed me for a long time, you probably will already remember. But I used to have a, I used to have a blog called Lauren Grace Lifestyle. And um, my Instagram was Lauren Grace Lifestyle, which is now abbreviated to Lauren Grace Life. My blog has kind of taken a backseat and I actually don't use my blog anymore. But I really miss doing edits, so I asked if it's something you guys want to see. Obviously, I just want to create content that's useful to you. And it was a resounding yes. So I have been working this morning on lots of different edits. I absolutely love them. I'm going to put some of them on screen so you can see them. Um, and if you ever do want to shop my edits or my outfits or home beauty products I'm loving, jewellery, everything, go over to my Like to Know It and follow me on there because I link everything on there and it's such a great app i honestly cannot recommend it enough all you need to do is download the like to know it app and you can just search for all the creators that you love and you can shop their outfits their edits product roundups just all sorts of things and i just love it i think it's such a genius platform it's so easy to use and i do link everything kind of from instagram to ltk but if you download the app, it is much easier and you can often see things before I've posted them on Instagram. So I really, really recommend it if you don't have it. I've also just had the um, new series of You on in the background. Because it is Saturday and when I'm working on the weekends, I always like to just be a little bit more relaxed so it doesn't feel like a, norm a normal kind of working day. But I've got all of that done now. So I'm just doing a little bit of makeup for the day. I'll probably top this up later because we are going out for dinner tonight, which is lovely. Jack has booked us a table, which was a complete surprise when I got home yesterday. We're gonna go to a restaurant that we haven't actually been to before. It's called The Beacon in Tunbridge Wells. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've actually just had lots of parcels this morning, so I thought we could open them together. Okay, I'm in the office. Please excuse the mess behind me. It's just a bit of a dumping ground in here. But I have quite a lot of parcels to open, so I thought we could do them together. I've got no idea what is in these, so let's find out. Ooh, what is this? I've got a red box. <gasps> oh, Giorgio Armani. Armani Beauty. Elegance is not about being noticed, it's about being remembered. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that. Okay, so these are some beautiful products from Giorgio Armani. I have got the Giorgio Armani Eau de Parfum, the C fragrance. Oh my god, this is beautiful. And I've also got three of the Lip Power lipsticks. I've never tried these. and I'm very intrigued. Okay, I've got a few different um, shades. Let me have a look, see what they're like. <gasps> oh, that is gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Wow, okay, so this one is number 107 then we have number 203 mystery they very much understand my love for nudie brown pink lipsticks <laughs> and then finally i have number 109 intimate oh my god that is beautiful i absolutely love that i think i'm going to use one of these tonight and maybe um, layer it up with a gloss, but oh, they look absolutely gorgeous. So huge thank you to Armani Beauty. That is, what a lovely, lovely gift. That's such a surprise. Okay, next up, I have a very exciting gift from Molten Brown. You guys know I love Molten Brown. I've worked with them quite a lot in the past and I continuously go back to their products, especially for Christmas. I always buy Jack's Family Molten Brown because it's just such a gorgeous brand. This is their new Heavenly Ginger Lily scent, which I haven't tried yet and I've been so excited to. This range doesn't just come as the normal bottle, it comes with this gorgeous illustration. How perfect is that for spring on your kitchen side or in your bathrooms? I've got the hand wash and the hand lotion here. And then also I have the shower gel and the body lotion as well. Such a perfect thing for your shower. See, all these things I just really want to save for the new house, but I don't know if I can wait for this. <laughs> 
I also have the fragrance here, which I'm so excited to try. So let me get this open. Oh, the, the weather today is blue skies, so sunny and really crisp and cold. The perfect spring weather. So these like blush pink spring deliveries are getting me so in the mood. Oh my God, look, I love the molten brown bottles. They always have these kind of onyx toppers. They are just stunning. That color is gorgeous. I'm gonna put it on my wrist and smell it on my skin. Oh my God, I can't even explain how nice that is. That literally smells like a spring garden. Imagine you've, you're wearing like a pink floaty dress. You're in the garden, the, the flowers are blooming. You're maybe having like a glass of rosé. Oh, I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Also, that scent as a body lotion would be incredible because that would stay on your skin all day. Oh, I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Molten Brown. I adore the Molten Brown team and everything they do, I just am so here for. So that is very exciting. I don't think I can wait to put these in my shower until I move because I'm too excited. But that is going to look stunning in the bathroom that I'm planning on designing. <laughs> now, this one is very heavy and I am so excited about this. I'm so sorry about the mess behind me, by the way. Okay, I've just moved the camera slightly because the background and that mess was just really not okay. Um, you guys know how much I love Nadine Morabi. Every time I have an event or something special that I need to wear, something kind of really glam and really amazing nadine moravi are always my first point of call and i will literally recommend them until the cows come home because it's just insane the quality the designs the fit the colors just everything i love it and also when you order from them it always comes in a gorgeous box like this which Firstly, it's so lovely to actually get some really luxurious packaging and the outfits are an investment. They're not kind of like a fast fashion price, but you really get what you pay for and they are just so beautifully crafted. The detailing is just incredible. So, as you know, it's my birthday soon and I've been on the hunt for some birthday outfits. I've got a few different plans and i wanted to collate a selection of outfits that i can kind of pick and choose what days i want to wear them on nadine Rabi asked me if i wanted to pick some things for my birthday and of course i said yes so i always wear nadine Rabi. i think every single time i've been out in london or been somewhere fancy i've worn nadine Rabi. so firstly i i'm gonna do a proper video and try these all on with you in a few weeks um so you will see them, but I just really want to unbox them with you now. This cohort is phenomenal. And it's actually, I'm actually quite taken aback. Like it's even better in real life. So this is a blazer and a skirt cohort. This is the blazer. Let me come close and show you. Look at the detailing. It's this beaded sequin flower design. So stunning. Really weighty. This is so heavy. It's got a gorgeous shoulder pad kind of cropped blazer so imagine this even with like a white pair of heels and denim jeans just if you want to add something fancy to your look oh my goodness this is stunning oh that is just beautiful i'm just gonna lay that very delicately over there and then this is the matching skirt and it has feathers on it oh my god and again this skirt can be worn on its own with a t-shirt tank top you could like dress this up and down with a white shirt. I am obsessed. I absolutely love this so much. Oh my God. That outfit is phenomenal. If you've got a really special occasion or it's your birthday, why not go all out? So when I picked up this parcel, I was thinking, Jesus, this is really heavy. Now I realize why. So I'm actually gonna put this on the hanger that they've sent to show you this. But this is like the showstopper. I'm definitely gonna wear this in Paris for sure. Honestly, this is so heavy. Oh my God, look at this. I can't believe this dress. Wow. 
wow 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 how phenomenal this is literally all sequins in like this drape kind of vibe oh my goodness this is stunning it's got like a low neck and um quite wide strap so it's just a really simple shape of a dress but oh imagine this by the eiffel tower oh my goodness this is just stunning. So I wear a size extra small at Nadine Marabi. I get extra small in everything. I don't even know what to say. Oh, I'm gonna have to put that down, it's so heavy. <laughs> but I am, as I said, I'm gonna be doing like a full birthday outfit. I want you to help me pick which outfit to wear to which occasion. You also get given like a suit carrier with your outfit as well. So if you need to transport it, you can keep it all safe. I usually store my um, like my jumpsuits. Sorry, I'm waving this knife around. I usually store my outfits in their um, suit carriers, like my sequin jumpsuits and my suits and things like that, just to keep them pristine. But, oh my goodness me. How amazing. It's not a birthday if you don't go completely extra. I didn't vlog anything this weekend. I honestly just had the most restorative, relaxing Saturday afternoon and Sunday. We went out for dinner on Saturday night to the Beacon and 10 out of 10 loved it. The building was absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, if you live local, I really recommend it. They're also just launching it as a hotel with a few bedrooms in June, so definitely recommend it it's beautiful but i am going to end the vlog here because i'm just about to start another weekly vlog so thank you for watching this week's vlog i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like comment down below stay in touch i love chatting with you in the comments and i will see you in the next video bye